Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It's March 5th. Uh, we did have the grains end up higher today. Corn up about five and three quarter cents. Beans up four and a half, and wheat up three and a half. We did have the beans uh, come off to an early jump, up about 14, 15 cents right off the bat this morning. We had some export sales out. Uh, announcement of about 675,000 beans sold. Half of that went to China, half to unknown. Half of it old crop and half new crop. So uh, that gave beans an early start, but it just kind of filtered a little lower all throughout the session. And um, But corn and, and wheat uh, remaining firm, a little bit lighter trade today uh, for that, more of a quiet session. But they, we were able to gain back some of what we lost there yesterday. Um, some of the stories that have been out there uh, that we've been hearing so far today, the stock market, new all-time highs, closed into new highs here today. Stock futures up about 112 points, putting those at 1424. Um, so very strong move there. The dollar, though, coming back a little bit. After a strong move over the last several weeks, uh, we, we've seen the, the dollar uh, pulling back a little bit, but down about 10 cents today. Uh, and that boosts the energy markets a little bit. Crude oil back above that $90 mark, uh, up 75 cents right now, putting that at that uh, at 90.85. So uh, a little bit stronger there. Can we see the energy markets uh, continue to push a little higher? We're right at this support level uh, as far as crude, and we'll see what they want to do there. But uh, if the dollar is going to break back anymore, it may give a little strength to commodities in general. Uh, as far as the livestock, fat cattle down 80 cents, so puts the April at 129.55. That's after seeing the morning price of box beef choice up a dollar 47, select up 253. So pretty strong there, but yet we still cannot find strength. We did have Tom Vilsack on TV today. Uh, he's the secretary of ag, talking more about these sequesters and the the furloughs that have going on and how that's going to be drug out over the next uh, couple months. And um, we saw the market break uh, after that. So still something that we're going to have to get past. Uh, there's no uh, real positive feelings uh, around uh, livestock in general uh, just yet. The attitude is still very negative. Same thing with hogs. Hogs down a dollar five today. Uh, so they did trade both sides of unchanged, which is amazing. Uh, but once again, we did finish a little bit lower. Still struggling cash prices, keeping uh, keeping hogs uh, lower. And uh, until we see that change, which may be another week out, uh, we're probably going to continue to see much of what we've been doing, and that's been selling off. So um, a lot of it, a lot of stuff out there. The markets have been moving around quite uh, quite a bit. But I want you guys to uh, get on our website or give us a call. We're doing our uh, annual acreage survey. Want to find out what you guys are planting out there. Uh, we've got some uh, a lot of guys that have done that already. If you have not, we can really use your help and uh, and get you to sign up and get you uh, just get your numbers. That's going to really help us out. We're going to release these numbers a few weeks before USDA comes out with their planning intentions report, and uh, we're going to release this to you then as well. That way, uh, you've got a little bit of an idea of what we could end up seeing. So uh, give us a call with any questions at 800-262-7538 or check us out on the web, allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys had a great day today. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.